Okay. Uh, uh, option number two, the, the factory certified one is, it, it says it'll eliminate costly pre-printed envelopes and print your own on the connect. Is that, what do you use for envelopes now, pre-printed? Yes, I buy a lot of pre-printed envelopes uh, from Boyce Forms and also from Heinen's. I mean, these are our standard ones with our mm -hmm. courthouse on it and mm -hmm. stuff. And right. Okay. We use a lot of envelopes for voter registration for the election, too. Sure. I don't know if that's a possibility that we could use the machine for that. That isn't something that we really discussed. And, and then, again, just to clarify as well, as far as the recommendation that was made on option one uh, for the DM-475, that recommendation was, was really made just based on uh, the clerk's needs as well as the... The, the, the type of equipment that was currently in there and really just to give you a, an idea between the two the DM 400 again is our entry-level automatic mailing machine meaning you put a stack of mail on it and you hit a button and it sends it through really the only difference between uh, what we've recommended for the auditor's office and the clerk's office is as you can see it uh, there's a there's a, a middle module in here that actually uh, automatically weighs and rates mail as it goes through and given um, you know after talking to, to both Debbie's and the clerk's office that's something that uh, really is a, is a necessary productivity tool because uh, in uh, 2007 the post office went to something called shape-based rating whereas previous to 2007 uh, the post office literally just rated based on weight um, and then after that uh, they instituted something again called shape-based rating where they also uh, take into account the length, the width, and the thickness um, whereas you know you can put a stack of mixed size mail number 10 envelopes, uh, flat size envelopes and hit, hit, hit go, and it'll automatically weigh and rate those in that uh, automatic weighing module that's, that's in between the two. Weigh on the way, automatic weigh. Is that, is that? That's correct. Trying not to get too fancy, but that was uh, the best way we kind of described it. Both option one and option two have the weigh on the way. That's correct. Okay. All right. And, and yes, I would agree. And I, that, is that, that anything that you, you don't need to, do you have a, don't you have a variety of stuff weighted envelopes? Yeah. Your stuff pretty much just one ounce, that's it. That's it. We're okay. pretty boring. Well, I, I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Only when I said Gentlemen, you and what's, your, what's your discussions, what's your feelings here? I would be willing to call the reference that um, Matt gives me just to check on the machine and see if they have any problems. How critical is it right now that we have it soon? Is it something it, that it is critical that we have it soon? It, it is definitely a, a desire and I believe a need, but we we can uh, function fine so right now. So if we get the um, recommendations for next month, then that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Can we can we table us till the first meeting in June? And Matt, can you come back? Uh, I think it's the 4th of June. I can. And in the meantime, you're going to work with Matt and you're going to get the references, right? Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on that, Tom? Fine. Fine. Just wait till see what we can. Yeah, I, I, I know I can't get all this digested myself. But. Okay. All right, we'll just see you guys back here then on June the 4th with okay. the information we need. Hopefully, we can. Move along on that. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. That the the money is in the budget. Yeah. Both of you. Yes. Not outside the budget. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks. Thanks for your time. Thank you.